Hello everybody, my name is uh, Drew Riley. I am your ELA for uh, this unit, Foundations of Statistics. I'd just like to uh, welcome you to the unit and, um, and just uh, give you a little bit of a heads up on um, uh, what's coming up. And also just to uh, sort of uh, dispel some rumours or some preconceptions that some people often have when they come into the unit. Um, and uh, just to let you know a little bit about myself. Uh, so I have been teaching this unit with uh, Swinburne Online for uh, just over a year now. Um, and I quite enjoy teaching the unit. I quite enjoy uh, teaching statistics and working with statistics. Um, I'm currently doing a PhD at ANU, which I have been doing for a very long time, um, but it will be finished, hopefully, uh, next year, perhaps. Um, other than that, I do uh, a lot of teaching. Actually, I teach uh, on campus at RMIT and, uh, and some other places, and uh, I also do some research uh, for the Defence Department. Um, so I do a lot of different things, and that's exactly how I like it. So now that's enough about me, let's talk about you and what you're going to do. Um, we're not actually going to go through the details of what happens in the unit, or what we're actually going to study. Uh, there's a lot of information about that on Blackboard. There's a lot of information about everything on Blackboard. There's the assignments and the exam and the work and so forth. Um, so if, if you're looking to get a, a, some idea of the content of this unit, um, I would encourage you to get onto Blackboard and have a look around there. There's a lot to there's a lot to read up on. But first of all, I just wanted to say, to let you know that, you know, most people enjoy this unit. Um, this comes as a bit of a surprise to a lot of students, but it, it it is an enjoyable unit. And a lot of students say to me at the end, you know, I really wasn't looking forward to doing this unit, but actually I quite enjoyed it. Um, so, you know, if, if you're a little bit, feeling a little bit nervous about doing this unit or, you know, you're a little bit worried about it, just bear in mind that actually most people in your position end up enjoying it. Uh, that might seem a little bit odd at this point, but trust me, as you go through the unit, you will find yourself, hopefully, uh, enjoying it. Um, and one reason for this is that actually you don't need to be good at maths to do well in this unit. Um, but you do need to think. So there is a little bit of maths involved, but it's not terribly taxing. Um, but what is what you do need to be able to do is you need to be able to think through concepts and to think logically and reason about things. And um, and you know, like a lot of subjects at university, that's what you need. That that's that's the core of the work that you're doing. Um, so just be prepared for that. If you're worried about the fact that you weren't very good at maths at high school and that kind of thing, you know, you, you, you kind of, I think you might be worrying about the wrong thing. What you do need to focus on though are your critical thinking abilities and your ability to uh, go through some new concepts and learn about them and think, think them through. And also, you know, be prepared to make mistakes. Be prepared to get things the wrong way around or to not understand something the first time and have to revisit it again. You know, that's perfectly normal. All, all the students who do this unit end up doing that at some point. Um, it's perfectly fine to, you know, to think that you've gotten the, gotten the hang of something or not, and then realise that you don't actually understand it all and you have to go back and look at it again. You know, that's perfectly normal and um, everybody goes through that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is, you know, this is a really, really useful unit. It, it's, statistics is all about finding stuff out. So. We've all been through the experience where a family or a family member or a friend or somebody has said something like, well, I reckon that all Australians are, are think they, you know, say or do or think this. Um, and you, know, you might think at the back of your mind, well, I wonder if that's true. I wonder if most Australians or everybody in Australia does think that. Well, statistics is a way of helping us to find that kind of information out. You collect a lot of information and you can find out some really useful stuff about it. Um, stuff that we can use to solve some really interesting problems and some problems that really need to be solved. So in that sense, it's actually a very practical unit because it, it's, it, you're applying your critical thinking skills to real world problems. And that can be exciting, I think. And as you go through the examples in the, in the textbook, I think you'll, you'll see this is actually something that people use every day and they use it for you know, really interesting and worthwhile problems. Um, in practical terms, do make sure you keep up with the work. 
make a plan for getting the work done each week. You know, it's, it's, if you can see a week coming up or a time coming up when you're not going to be available to do the work and you're going to have your hands full with other things, try to make a plan around that so you can organise some time for when you can do the work and try as much as you can to keep up each week because if you start to fall behind, it really does get difficult to catch up uh, due to the nature of the work and the kind of concepts that you need to absorb each week. We do build on what we do in past weeks. So, you know, skipping a week or rushing through a week is generally not a, not a good idea. So really work hard to try and keep up. Um, make sure you plan and organise your time. And, you know, if you think that you, if you think you've might have taken on too much, if you're studying other units and you think you've taken on too much work, you probably have. So don't be afraid to pull out, especially for a unit like this. If, if you think that you're not going to be able to devote the time to it that you need, then make the decision early. Pull out before the census date so that then you can, you can go on and do the unit when you've got the time that you need to, you know, to really focus on it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is to do the activities each week um, on the discussion boards. Don't just read through the ear text and go, okay, I've done all that. Uh, the, discuss the discussion activities are really important because what you do on the discussion boards is what you'll have to do in the exam. So if you haven't done the activities on the discussion board each week, it can be quite tricky when you come to do the exam and you're sort of doing them for the first time or you haven't had any feedback on your work. Um, and then suddenly you realise halfway through the exam, you know what, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's not the kind of thought that you want to have halfway through an exam. And so to avoid that, it comes down to doing the activities each week. So if you do those, then um, you know, you're know you setting yourself up to do you know, to, to go through the exam with, you know, with the least amount of stress, put it that way. Um, okay, so that's all I wanted to say, really. Uh, you know, have fun. Have fun with this unit. It, it is fun, I think. Um, it is interesting. Um, it, you know, it's not a trip to dream world on the Gold Coast, but it is certainly intellectually engaging. It's fun, it's useful, and it's uh, or probably uh, not as bad as what you think. All right, see you on the discussion boards.